Future Prediction Assignment, Slide 1. Good morning and afternoon, class. My name is Liam Dalton. I'll be presenting my assignment on artificial intelligence and in how it will change our future. Slide 2. So, what is artificial intelligence? Does anyone know the definition? Artificial intelligence can be described as an area of computer science that focuses on the creation of intelligent people that react and work like humans. Throughout this presentation, ask yourself these questions. What will the future hold for AI? Who will it affect? It causes more harm than good? Slide 3. Here are some points that you'll need to know about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been growing rapidly and will continue to do so. There are strong links to AI and humans. Technology has become a huge part to the, of the world's day-to-day -day lives. But with that comes concerns about growing past the uncontrollable and irreversible point. There are some ethical and moral arguments that are linked to artificial intelligence. Slide 4. The growing concern about AI is how should humans treat artificial intelligence and the singularity, the moral and ethical right challenging. Thus far, humans have already benefited from artificial intelligence. We will, in this society that has evolved into wanting the faster and user-friendly technology, Artificial intelligence is created to provide individuals with immediate satisfaction because our society has come to an impatient, has become impatient. An abundance of comp competition in the marketplace questions the quality of ethical standards that might be composed as companies struggle to achieve competitive advantage. Slide 5. AI and uh, Turing test. Before AI is released to the public, it has been going through the Turing test. The Turing test is a method of acquired to determine whether or not the computer of uh, with artificial intelligence is compatible of thinking like a human. If artificial intelligence is able to pass the Turing test. Realistically, it would be able to not. They would not be able to hold the same ethical models and rights due to the fact that they don't have the same capabilities as humans do. Humans have had the ability to feel and express emotions such as sympathy, uh, uh, and empathy, etc. All of which being unique to humankind. When using AI, there are going to be some pros and cons. Some pros and that some pros and cons that would be increased productivity, uh, response time, and lower costs. The sound that sounds good to hear, but here are some cons that comes with AI. There are unemployment, impersonal, and incorrect data, bad data. The areas where artificial intelligence will be employed, factory will work a mass prod, uh, production, it and its information deb database job. What are the exceptionalists moral principles around artificial intelligence? It takes away the ability to empathize and sympathize with the people, which is a need to, when treating sick people. With artificial intelligence, there is no gray area. It's only black or white because it's based on data. The gray area is people ability to be compassionate violation of equip distribution of health benefits AI is making healthcare feel like they are not the ones making decisions anymore eventually physicians 
could be taken out of their out of the discussion making as well this will have an effect on the future employment within the healthcare system as we relay more and more artificial intelligence inflict with inflict harm without consent an example of this is whistleblowing when a worker comes forward with information on wrongdoing within the workplace or a corporation, Edward Snowden released to the NSA listening to people in their homes through Google. And Alex is, Alexis, slide eight. Over the course of the semester, we cover many topics, but my favorite topic was whistleblowing. The definition of whistleblowing is when a worker comes forward with information on wrongdoing within the workplace of a corporation. For example, Edward Snowden released to the public that the NSA was listening to people in their homes through Google Homes and Alexis. Since Edward did that, he... Since Edward did what he did was right, many people have followed in his footsteps since. Slide nine. Lastly, AI making healthcare. Lastly, lastly, AI is making healthcare feel like they're not making the decisions anymore. Eventually, physicians cannot be taken out of the discussion making as well. There will be. This will have an. an this will have an effect on our future employment with healthcare systems we, as we relay in more artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence data has the ability to predict a person's risk for developing cancer, chronic conditions, and disease. In the future, impact insurance coverage and disability claims for employers and putting individuals at the disadvantage for health care and jobs. In hospital, nurses now enter a patient's vital signs into a, a glo- electronic health record, record and, and are given a pathway base of data. They are not the ones... They are not the ones making the decisions anymore. Eventually, physicians could be taken out of, out of the discussion making way. Well, uh, this will have an effect on the future of employment with the healthcare system as we relay more and more artificial intelligence. My uh, slide 10 my future predictions. I include that. Artificial intelligence will become more predominant, and that means more jobs will become obsolete as technology evolves. Artificial intelligence will always lack human connection we need in certain areas of the workforce, but with every issue we can, and with every issue we have with it, it comes an advantage and consequences, and it matters of finding out which. It matters. It mat. It's a matter of of finding out which one outweighs the other. So, uh, slide eleven. Thank you for watching. Does anyone have any questions and concerns? Thank you.